Yo, it's apotheosis. Throw me to the wolves, I'm coming back with a fur coat. Let's get into it. Man, I knew y'all was some sheep. When I say sheep, when I say y'all, I'm talking about listening audience of hip hop. Or P, I'm talking about actually the masses in general. But man, all of a sudden, Jay-Z tell y'all to do some stuff, man. Jay-Z tell y'all to get your credit right or whatever. Tell y'all not to steal the money, phone, invest. You know what I mean? All this little silly stuff that people have been telling you forever. Now, all of a sudden, word is bond. Now y'all switching up your whole, switching up everything, pooping on people, playing on the money phone. Y'all just move like she just make y'all do what he want to do, man. Y'all tripping, man. The reason I really knew y'all was cheap was back in the day when Cam made everybody wear pink. I was like, oh, man. I seen the most toughest, thuggest, staunchest, killest niggas. A lot who had verbally said things about pink in their life. Like, they never wear no pink. Thought it was family. All of a sudden, Cameron doing it. Oh, man. A rapper with a couple dollars. Oh, that must mean it's cool. Man, niggas wearing pink now. That's when I knew niggas with sheep. Like, oh, okay. I can never go with the masses say ever in life because they do anything. They sheep. They don't think for themselves for real. So, I just let you know. Never go with the masses up top. But, man, my point of this is, man, ain't nothing wrong with the money phone. There's nothing wrong with stunting. And I'm going to tell you why, man. First of all, we came from kings and queens over there in Africa. They stayed adorned with Jews. You know what I mean? That's what we do. We come through adorning Jews. We come through ostentatious. That's what we are. We stand out. We're not a tightened up, buttoned up people. You know what I mean? We've always been swagged out, lavish. We've always been loud. Look at it. Look how we built. Our women thick. You know what I mean? They stand out. Us. We massive silverbacks walking through, intimidating people. You know what I mean? That's what we do, man. But they want to stomp that out of you. And that's what we lose. That's what we lose at. They got these strongholds in our minds. And when I say they, I'm talking about, you can say white people or you can just say the mainstream. Which we really know is mostly white people, for real. We don't even talk mainstream. So, But they got that strong home in your mind making, making you conform to what they feel is right. And now we, even we as a people, feel it's wrong to to uh, stunt with your money or to be, um, you know, to be uh, a little braggadocious or there's nothing wrong with that, man. You got to celebrate these successes, man. There's nothing wrong with it, man. If you get, man, look, do your thing, man. They ain't say nothing about princes and sheiks. What princes and sheiks over in Saudi Arabia come through? Don't nobody call them coons when they come through with the harem and big jewels and they come through stunting building gold houses. That's stunting. You know what I mean? That's stunting, man. What about even white people? Queen Elizabeth. Did she come through? You think she come through quiet when she enter, enter a state or enter somebody's town? They come through lavish. You know what I mean? She be adorned. She got the crown on. You know what I mean? She's stunting. She living in the castle. She got uh, people serving her every need. That's stunting. That is stunting, man. They stunting with their money, but they got y'all thinking y'all can't stunt with y'all money. Like, man, get out of here, man. Get out of here. You think a guy like Floyd Mayweather, they got y'all, they can try to spin y'all and make y'all think he cooning with his money. He's worth a billion, damn near a billion dollars, man. Smart businessman. Guess what? He want to have fun. He's stunting with his money phone. He celebrates successes, man. You can't take this money with you, man. Ain't nothing wrong with celebrating your successes. They don't come every day. As long as you're doing now, there's a difference between shitting on people. There is a difference, but you know the difference with somebody shitting and with somebody just up. And just and just being up. And they being up is going to be a big light. And they're going to have fun. You know what I mean? There's a difference between that. But if you're taking care of your people, doing right by your money, taking care of people, man, whatever. You know I mean, you can't help everybody. But if you're doing, then, then that's cool, man. That's cool. Stunt. Throw them 26s on the whip if you want to, man. Don't nobody tell you, oh, you too old to throw 26 on the whip. Why? Who says so? I want to drive a nice car 26. That's what I want to do with my money. Man, they corny, but they since they want you to be buttoned up because they buttoned up. They never they never been swagged up. Look at our churches. Our churches 
dancing, people falling down in the pews, people doing solos in the in the crowd in the choir, like real loud when he was the solos, go to their churches, they more docile, laid back. Mm-hmm. Hymns. Like you know what I mean? Like no, ain't no dance, ain't no Holy Ghost falling out in the crowd in the in the in the uh in the pews, you know what I mean? That's just the way it is, the way we build, man. That's what we are, man. It's just our personality, man. Don't let them stomp that out of us. And if you shine in your light, if you live in your life being up, having fun, make another person feel bad, man, that's a them problem. That's a you problem. Fuck them, man. Don't never let nobody dim your light, man. The light gonna get dim forever soon enough. Don't let them dim your light while you're here. Never go for that, man. Jay-Z condoning that. Kind of shit on Future. Kind of throw Future out there on some bars. Talking about trying to poop on his money phone. Like, come on, man. Get out of here. When that ain't money over here, man. First of all, you being facetious, Jay-Z, because it ain't like he can put his whole net worth or what he's really worth up to his ear. So, of course, he's going to put a representation of that up to his ear. Of course, we're going to put a few stacks up like up to his ear. Of course, we know that ain't, he got more money than that. He can throw that up. He having fun. Like, man, that's crazy, man. That's he pooping on another man, having fun. Another black businessman made in there. He want to throw that on him. Like, that ain't money over here. There's nothing wrong with stunting, man. That's cool. It's motivation. It should be motivation. You know what I mean? People try to tell you, oh, you shouldn't throw big rims on the whips because, or, or have big jewels because of the attention it might cause. Fuck the attention it might bring and the attention it might cause. Fuck it, whatever way. If you choose to accept it, it is what it is. But you can't live your life being nervous of the tension something might cause, man. Fuck out of here. That's like living in a uh, chains. That's slavery. You living as a slave to what other people feel. Fuck them, man. You got to be a god where you can manipulate your environment. And if you say it's cool, it's cool, and you're going to be cool. You know what I mean? You know what kind of, what the kind of karma you put out. You can you be all right. You attract, you, you can attract good attention. You know what I mean? You can always attract bad attention. But fuck it, if you're willing to accept the bad attention that might come with something, then it is what it is. But that don't make it right or wrong if you choose to stunt. And if you don't choose to stunt, that's cool too. That's just the way you do your thing. Like, just like the NBA, they tried to, they stay dumbed down these millionaires, these multi-millionaires. They was coming up swagging, dressing like young young black males, you know what I mean? Like, just like young black males, like how we dress, gear, all type of gear, name brand swagging. We might do rag, big chains on, clean though, expensive stuff. But they want to tell them they can't, these males can't, young black males can't come in that because it's not lining up with the sponsorships. White people and their money control. Now they're going to tell us we can't dress that or like how we like to dress. We have to dress like they like to dress, buttoned up, docile. Ain't no fucking, well, fucking real business. The sports. This sport's not a real business. It's different. It's not a real business where you gotta come in a suit to the press conference. No. These are guys running around dunking, talking stuff, spitting, fighting, fighting in crowds. And guess what? They should be able to come to the press conference as such. As long as they clean and, and representative, let them come geared up. Let them come in their true nature. But no, we gotta come. They tell about no gaudy chain. It's like, who's to say it's gaudy? It's only gaudy to y'all because we like, Big chain, shiny stuff around there. Oh, we can have a little choker, a little pendant like Tom Brady or somebody. Or Larry Bird would wear like, get the fuck out of here, man. Don't let them deal my lights, man. That's the strongholds they put in our mind. Like, you know what I mean? It's cool, man. If you choose not to stun, that's not coonery. Motherfuckers don't even know the definition of coonery. They say call anything a coon. Because y'all so sheepish, y'all ain't really know the definition of the word. Nothing wrong with stunting with the money phone. The money phone is just a small example. There's nothing wrong with stunting having fun with your money. If you want to have big, you think they ain't stunting when they buy, when white people buy million dollar homes and, and they get a pay increase and they go up to another bigger home, they get a pay. That's stunting. They're showing they have the biggest house and they have, want to get the next biggest house. They're stunting, getting bigger houses. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's a form of stunting. You know what I mean? When they want to add the new addition on the home, that's stunting. They want to have the best new addition on their home in the neighborhood. That's a form of stunting. But y'all so sheepish, y'all don't even understand that, man. But guess what? When we do it, we coons. We silly. We don't know what to do. You know what I mean, even though it's, it's successful people, highly successful people that do, oh, we're coonish. You know? We need to do such and such. Like, we can't do both. Like, it's mutually exclusive. exclusive. You know what I mean? Like, it's mutually exclusive. Like, we can't stunt and be have smart business, take care of people, take care of our family, 
You know what I mean? Have fun, help others, and still have fun stunting with the money, phone, wearing big jewelry, driving big cars, you know what I mean? All that. We can't do both. We gotta choose it. Because of how another motherfucker feel. Fuck your feelings, man. Apotheosis. Throw me to the wolves. I'm coming back with a fur coat. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll get at y'all.